Well, I'm, <clears throat> I'm touched by many of the things that people shared. <clears throat> and um, it just shows how hard it is to sort of boil things down and sort of talk about them in brief period of time. I uh, I think all each one of us, it'd be wonderful to hear everybody's story in a setting where there was plenty of time, like um, the guy, I don't know his name, uh, from Ivory Coast, for instance, <clears throat> who's... O Ofu. Ofu did, he was talking about an entire search uh, in which he found something. Um, uh, that's a big story, a wonderful story. Uh, I know that just from what he was able to share. But that was fascinating what Wendy shared about having the, hearing the trees. I, there's some books out nowadays. There's some stuff. I don't know, Wendy, if you've read any of this stuff, but there's some amazing things coming to light right now about plants. And to me, this is an example of, of having been open to another level, a very subtle level. Um, I, I don't think we need to call it art. Art is a, a word that's only 500 years old in the West. Um, most traditional other countries and places never even had a word for art. We don't need the word, um, but that's a that's a huge topic. Uh, the thing that you're talking about and what each person is talking about is kinds of experience which are uh, in themselves meaningful. So to me, this is way more interesting than just the word art itself. It's really this question of these other levels of experience, and, and I'm, this is what I'm hearing. Thank you, Richard. You know, it occurs to me that um, you've brought the conversation full circle. You started off with wanting to talk about art outside of the uh, academic definitions of art, and here you are once again sort of coming back to that same place. It's about the experiences that any of us as ordinary people um, have and, and what we might want to do with that. 